In this video, we'll be learning about creating a login UI just like this. And here we have created separate view, separate view for the top part and the left part and the right part and then the bottom part. And it optimizes in all the screen orientations too. So here you can see it and it works on both Android and iOS. Here we'll be using the .NET MAUI Commit Toolkit uh, Docker layout in this uh, project to uh, get a optimized uh, uh like a uh, ui that is on the top part the bottom part the fixed bottom part as well as the left right or the center screen okay so uh, this is just the ui if you want more feature implementation that is whole login logout as well as the uh, user save token whether the user is saved or not and if the user is saved then uh, navigate to the dashboard then i have already uh i'm going to provide the video in my link description below where you will just get uh, to my playlist and you just go need to to navigate to tutorial number 43 to get that uh, whole simple login and logout implementation uh, and then already a user already logged in feature that is uh, the video will explain everything regarding how uh, actually whole functionality of login and logout works so here what we actually going to do is we are just going to uh, decorate the ui with the docker layout and get a optimized screen in every platform so here you can see uh, we will we'll just uh, first of all add a pl plugin that is our dot in maui commit tool kit uh, and then we'll just uh, need to go uh, manage nuket packages and then uh, this is dot in maui commit toolkit as well as maui commit tool code uh, so maui uh, community just type a uh, maui community and then it should give you the two plugins that is maui maui uh, common toolkit dot maui and the common toolkit dot mau uh code so add uh, all uh, both the pl plugins and, and to all the all of your projects okay so we're selecting the project and then uh the project uh, means the plugin will be here and then what we actually need to is do is like platform implementation that is like uh, we need to initialize this uh two line of code uh and that's it that is how the maui community toolkit is now going to deliver us the docker layout okay so if you are creating any type of ui it might be page number one page number two i'll just uh like um, minimize it so that uh, uh it is really easy to explain you everything so here uh what i actually do going to do is like we are going to add a namespace which gets all this item from the maui community toolkit core okay so now what in that uh, whole uh, namespace we have a docker layout okay so the docker layout actually has uh, the four parts okay so this is just like how there's like a scroll view will be adding at the uh, outer part okay so just a, a scroll view which scrolls up and down okay the toolkit dot uh, docker layout that means now we are going to make this whole uh, as like a docker container okay means docker layout okay that is a like a whole uh, wrapper uh, the wrapper has four parts that is top left right and the bottom so here same thing okay we are just going to tell that we are going to create a optimized grid and then that grid is just like a wrapper or wrapper is going to be added at the top of the po top position uh, as a docker layout in the form of docker layout and the another grid uh, to the left we can put another grid as a right and the another grid as a bottom okay so that is how actually it, it's going to work so a grid which contains a image as a source okay so same thing a image as a source and you can just put a height as well as width of that image too and uh, in order to add the image you need to put the image to the uh, Im images folder or over here so here you can see i have added Facebook icon, the Google icon, uh, info icon, as well as login uh, logo generic. That means our logo of the whole app. Okay, so you know, it uh, depends upon your uh, use cases. Then uh, actually, what we are going to do is uh, another another thing that uh, that is our on the left position. You can just put uh, other icons too. So uh, that is it okay and then uh, the two icons we can just place and then we can use some click handlers to handle everything and then uh, what happens to the bottom the bottom is the footer part so this is the footer part okay so that is actually how it works and then the like at last the grid will keep all the control to the center if if you are not going to tell that uh, uh, the docker position uh, to left right top or bottom then what you are going to do is like we just don't need to define anything over here okay it will directly tell that this grid is going to be put at the center okay and removing all the spaces 
uh, that are already occupied that is left right top bottom okay so it is going to be uh, putting that thing up uh, to the center of the uh, whole ui and then just uh, entry to entry button label and then uh, the two icons that is ams button icon that is for facebook as well as google that's all so that is how actually this uh, everything works so that's it for uh, this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials